Peace to the universal family. It's the God of Saw Amin Ra. Cosmic salute. Back at you, man, with another video. But first, I want to start off by saying make sure you hit that subscribe button, man. You know what I'm saying? So you could, you know, stay up on when I drop videos on my uh, journey to consciousness, consciousness build. And uh, just, you know, stay in tune with the guy, man. You know, I got a lot of information to present. And uh, I look forward to building and interacting. Yeah, I don't mind, you know, comment below. You know, like, dislike, you know. Hey, man, give me feedback, man. You know, I feed off the people. And, um, yeah, man, ask questions or whatever. But uh, today... I got to talk about some shit that I seen, and um, it's crazy, man. Uh, the the boy, the guy, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, he just goddamn got sworn in as a sheriff deputy in Clayton County, Georgia. Now I know that he was already he's a sheriff. He was a sheriff deputy, I think, somewhere in Florida. You know what I'm saying? But uh. So I know he has a history of law enforcement and all that, you know. But he, he was like one of the main people speaking out on uh, Colin Kaepernick. When Colin Kaepernick, you know, was started the protest or whatever, how he was doing his thing, Shaq spoke against that. And, uh, yeah, man, it's just it just amazes me how, you know, especially, you know, people in positions to really make a difference – you know, how they're so out of touch, man, with their people, man. How can you be so out of touch with your people, you know what I'm saying, to where if you just do a little history, you know what I'm saying, that alone will wake you up, you know. We, you know, all they teach us in school, you know, is fucking American history. They don't teach us, you know, they teach us African-American history. That's as far as it goes, you know what I'm saying. Our history begin. And we were slaves, pretty much, as slaves, you know. And, uh, you know, it's just the same how we don't take it upon ourselves to go do that research because that's, like, that's one of the main reasons what led me on my path to consciousness. I wanted to know my history before we got to America or before Christopher Columbus came to America because, you know, a lot of our people was already here, you know, when them, them Europeans got here, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, it just amazes me, man, how, you know, folks you know, be so quick to jump on the wrong team, man, for the wrong reasons, for personal accolades. And, you know, at some point, you know, you say, okay, well, this is the way these folks make their money. So, goddamn, you can't expect them to want to get in the struggle, you know what I'm saying, or be a part of the movement. But how the fuck can you say that? Because, all right, once you make the money, shit, that's when, you know what I'm saying, it's time to to do something with it. You know what I mean? That's when it's time to get in the movement. You know what I'm saying? Them are the most important motherfuckers. They could, their voices, man, and they got a lot of folks that follow them, man. That shit carries a long way. So it's like, yeah, man, with, uh, with great wealth, man, comes great responsibility. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, just to see that, man, and, like, a lot of athletes and, you know, just celebrities, period, man. I, Man, I've been boycotting Hollywood, the NFL, NBA, you know, and I grew up on all that shit. Don't get it twisted. I love that shit. But at the end of the day, man, I'm for my people, man. And I see that that shit, man, something, like, especially in sports, that shit does something to them folks' head, man. They they uh make sure that they they take all of the fight up out them dudes, man. You know, to be in that shit, you know, it's like they got to go through a certain kind of ritual or something. You know what I'm saying? Because them motherfucking dudes be just lame as fuck when it comes to just, you know, knowing what's going on in the society and just being in touch with the people. I mean, it's it's something that them, them people do, man. Like when you in them colleges... Or, you know, in them European colleges or, 
just in that process, you know what I'm saying? It breaks them dudes' wheels, man. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I love sports, man, but I had to realize, man, that, uh, you know, that shit right there, man, is really, it's basically it's a modern-day slavery type of situation, you know what I'm saying? But that's not, I'm not about to ride too far on that. I just wanted to speak on Shaq, man, and, you know, a lot of us, man, we we used to look up to these people coming up, man, as kids, man, your Jordans, your Shaqs, your goddamn, your Barclays, you feel me? These was like our favorite guys, you know what I'm saying? Not just on the court, but off the court. We, we fooled with them. But it's like when you um, get to a certain place and wisdom and, you know, you obtain a certain amount of knowledge, you understand it, man. Hey, man, everything that glitters ain't gold, you know? So it's like, at the end of the day, man, them dudes playing on the wrong team, man, you know? And it's just like another one, too, I can't forget. I, I was about to give him a pass, but when I seen this Shaq shit, I'm like, basically, they both on the same shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, my man Snoop, he spoke out against... Uh, Colin Kaepernick for in support because he supported Ka uh, Fidel Castro. You know what I'm saying? He gave it up for Castro when he died. Kaepernick did, and uh, Snoop was like, "Oh, he wasn't he wasn't feeling that," and you know he spoke against it. But it's like either you're gonna be a revolutionary or you're not. You know what I'm saying? And Snoop, you know, sometimes he he wanna act like you know he with the movement or whatever. But then you'll see him with the police shaking hands and hugging with them. So, you know, he like he likes to play both sides. But it's like, okay, hey, man, Castro was the greatest revolutionary, you know what I'm saying, in modern history, bro. You got to, you know what I'm saying, do the, do the knowledge to this type of shit, man. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the model that Castro set up is basically the modern-day model for... The revolution, you know what I'm saying? As far as a physical re revolution, you know? Now, I always um teach that the revolution starts in the mind, you know what I'm saying? So, we definitely, uh you know, have to deal with this higher consciousness, man, to uh, fight this beast, you know what I mean? You know, and... Um, but yeah, man, Shaq and Snoop, man, y'all boys, man, y'all on the wrong team right now, man. Y'all need to go do a little research, you know what I'm saying, and understand who y'all are, man. Snoop, you out there in Cali, Cali has a, 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 a very rich history of indigenous people, man, before Columbus even got here, you know. So yeah, Snoop, go do your, your history on California, man. And your southern history about the uh, native people that was uh, in the south. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. It's like a little history, man. Uh, go a long way, man. Just a little research. And just knowledge of self, period. You know what I'm saying? That's the base pretty much of the shit. It's knowledge of self. You know what I'm saying? And when you gain knowledge of self... You automatically are going to have to deal with the higher consciousness aspect because it's like that's who you are. You know what I'm saying? You're not the body. You know what I'm saying? You're not the physical shell. You're not. The body is just a vehicle, you know, for the mind, you know what I'm saying? Or that energy or that spirit, this, you know, whatever words you want to use, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, you know. We've been here before this planet was even formed. You know what I'm saying? We came with this universe, you know? So it's like, yeah, man. We're dealing with higher consciousness, man. We understand these things, man. And this will unite us. We will unite. You know what I'm saying? And we will be able to push forward. So it's like, yeah, I ain't going to ride too far on that. The video is going on about 10 minutes. But I just got to say, yeah, man, Shaq and uh, Snoop, man. Y'all boys on the wrong team, man. If it come down to it, man, y'all y'all, y'all on the other side of enemy lines, man. You know? That's just what it is, man. Y'all voices is too powerful for y'all to be out there kicking this bullshit, man. And, and telling the people the wrong shit, man. And, 
you know, leading the people in the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? You know, did nobody really ask to be a leader, but we all are leaders. And if we're going to be leaders, we got to lead in the right manner, man. So, uh, yeah, I just want to say that, man. These times and these days, man, it's too critical to be having um, folks out here making missteps, you know. So it's like, yeah, y'all boys, man, get it together, man. I'm over here. I'm getting it together. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I never say that. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, I'm on this journey. And, uh, yeah, man, cosmic salute, man, to the universal family. This is the God of Sar Amin Ra. Peace and love. And, yeah, man, once again, most definitely hit that subscribe button. Because uh, I'm going to be delivering a lot of information to y'all. And, um. Till the next time. Peace.